better young leader. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, as this is just our first day, this is our opening ceremony, let's go proceed to our first agenda. So we will have a speech, an opening speech from Professor Roy Dermawan as the honorary lecturer of Bonchi University for Nationalities China. So please welcome Professor Roy Dermawan. Uh, good night, Wan An, Lailatan Saida, Oya Sumenai Sai, Jalja, Spokonoi, Nochi, Good Nak, Abonu Night, Good Nak, Buanoide, Supratri, Selamat Malam, Jungungon, Good Nak, Buono Note, Subaratri, I, Gesler, Pomaika, Bonum Noctel, Bunas Note, Leka, Nos. Ni hao ma, uh, saudara sekalian, ladies and gentlemen, good evening, youth leader of the world. I am Professor Roy Dermawan, as the adjunct professor for College of ASEAN Studies, Guangxi University for Nationalities in China called Guangxi Mingsu Tase, and in Indonesia, uh, I task as Director of Center for Strategic Entrepreneurial Leadership, Universitas Indonesia. I'm truly grateful today with hundreds youth leader from 25 countries in Asia Pacific region. The youth today is the leader of tomorrow. Youth is agent of change. We are, a, are an optimistic generation. You are the leader, you need to facing the challenge and prepare your future starting now. The first step is building the positive attitude. Positive attitude, it's not just about supporting that smile on your face every time. Yeah, like Dara Swandana, uh, every time smile and giving uh, the good impression. Positive attitude is not just about uh, that, it's about maintaining that optimistic mindset and attitude even when things are is utter chaos. It is often said that what good or bad that does not to your body, positive and negative those to the same to your mind. Fit your mind with positive those and you will see an amazing change around you. When we start thinking optimistically, our mind becomes clear of any negative though, and you will see the world in a new light. You will stop blaming yourself or others. You will be in total control of your emotion. and try to seek a valuable lesson in every setback you, of your experience. Here are a few more reasons why you should develop a positive attitude in life. Happiness, a positive attitude is known to be linked with the feeling of happiness. Also positive thinking and also positive feeling. When we think positively, we will be in harmony and feel happy. To put it simple, with a positive attitude, we can be happy right now, irrespective of any situation, we are in self-confidence. We uh, develop a positive attitude, we will start feeling better about ourselves. We will treat ourselves with more respect and love, and this soon will boost our confidence level in and inner strength. We will take on new challenges and come out of our self-limiting belief. And also this is very important in uh, pandemic and the mix of COVID-19. A positive thinking also stronger immune system. People with a positive attitude are likely energetic and healthy. Positive thinking renders a positive effect on health as well. It lowers stress and improves our overall well-being. Even when 
we fall sick, our body recuperate faster. Also, uh, you ever hear that negative thinking is wasting energy, but positive thinking is mobilizing energy. Positive thinking also uh, give impact, more focus with positive thinking. We achieve emotional balance, which actually helps the brain to execute function properly. We learn to stay focused and as a result, we can come up with the right decision in challenge uh, situation. We need to training our mind to develop positive attitude. Repeating positive affirmation is a great way to train our mind to think positively. Reading inspirational and motivate, motivational quotes on a daily basis will help our confidence overcoming negative thoughts and instill a sense of optimism in our. When any unpleasant event uh, help, approach it with a positive mindset and try to learn an optimistic lesson out of it. Remember, our doubt determine our feeling and action. So whenever any negative doubt come to our mind, immediately replace it with a positive one. Even if you are in their state of affair, a positive mindset will help us sail through the difficult, uh, difficult faster, easier, and easily. Uh, thank you very much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, good night, one and selamat malam, uh, and success for everybody. Good night. All right. Thank you so much for the opening speech, Professor Roy. Hopefully, guys, we will develop a positive attitude and also positive mindset every time. And hopefully, it will increase even more by joining this event. Okay, so before we proceed to the next agenda, let's take a picture together with Professor Roy. Okay, so if your camera is still turned off, please turn it on because we will have a photo session with Professor Roy Derma. Okay, show your smiley faces. One. Okay, operator, please help me screenshotting. One, two, three. Okay, the next slide. One, two, three. Just keep smiling, guys, because we don't know in which slides we are in. One, two, three. We have five slides. One, two, three. And the next slide. Okay. Thank you so much, everyone. Once again, thank you so much, Professor Roy, for being here with us and for delivering the wonderful speech. All right. Have a good rest. And now we can proceed to our next agenda, everyone. So now we will have a speech by Professor Dr. Betania Kartika as the Associate Dean of InHeart IUM Malaysia. So please welcome Dr. Betania Kartika. Okay, thank you so much, um, Miss MC, Miss Dara. Okay, uh, thank you and also Prof. Roy. Thank you so much and alhamdulillah. Nice to see you all again here. Yeah. Very nice to see you again. Yeah, alhamdulillah. <laughs> Always again and again. And we hope to see you again and again, inshallah. Okay. Uh, hopefully uh, soon we can meet face to face the offline uh, program. Yes. I think now uh, the world is becoming uh, better and better, inshallah. The pandemic is leaving us, hopefully, and not coming back. And uh, we'll be meeting again here or in other part of the world, inshallah. Bismillah uh, ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillah rabbil alamin. Wa bihi nasta'inu ala umuri dunya wa ad-deen. Assalatu wassalamu ala ashrafil anbiya wal mursalin. Wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in. Bye-bye.
uh, thank you so much for the nice opportunity given to me and as well uh, the time to meet again is always something that we are waiting for to have a program with uh, SUDEC. Uh, now under the leadership of uh, Prof. Roy Darmawan and always we have very, yes, uh, uh, always this, uh, this, uh, missing the smiley face of Madara. <laughs> Alhamdulillah, yes. So I'm given a task, may I say task today? Uh, first of all, to talk about, uh, because today program is about the uh, exchange conference program. And Ms. Dara was mentioning about uh, many, many countries, uh, students from many countries uh, to participate in this particular program, which is, wow, it's, it's really good opportunity and um, one of the things that was asked um, for me to deliver is that how to motivate, yeah, how to motivate everyone here, especially to exchange uh, experience, knowledge, uh, probably through the formal education or informal education. So I don't, I don't see that it's. The exchange program is not necessarily to be uh, formal, like, oh, it should be for master, for PhD, yeah, for degree, but as well, it can be in the uh, shape, in the forms of the exchange program in many different ways. Uh, recently, uh, I had some programs with other universities as well, yeah, in Indonesia, and it was really good. Uh, but first of all, I would like to, as well, I was asked to talk about the um, INHART, INHART or the International Institute for Halal Research and Training uh, in IUM, yeah, International Islamic University, Malaysia. And we would like to just uh, show you during the uh, presentation, yeah, I'm going to give some of the motivation and the reason of why uh, it is good yeah, to have some kind of program, the international exchange, or even if we like to study abroad, like a study study. Of course, in Indonesia, we have lots of awesome uh, universities, yeah, or in your countries, all of the participants here, all of the uh, members of the family of this exchange conference program in your own countries you have already very excellent universities existing but why do we still like to uh, probably try to get the enrollment admission from other universities in other countries yeah uh, most is to me it's more to knowledge not only knowledge, but experience, sorry, the experience, okay? Uh, getting to know more people, getting to know their culture, their traditions. Um, the Indonesian used to say that, makin um, jauh mata memandang, yeah. Prof. Roy, what is the continuation? Kalau makin jauh mata memandang, so makin banyak lagi yang bisa kita dapatkan, yeah? <laughs> Maybe or something like that. Uh, so, uh, Miss, can I share the slide? Yes. yes. So, I would like to introduce about myself and my uh, institution. Yeah. Maybe a little of my study uh, journey before when I was your age. Uh, Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Uh, so, let me share screen. I should see this. Okay, is it seen? Yes, no. Yes, yes. Oh, okay. okay. So I think I'll just go through the full screen. Is better? Is it better now? No, yeah, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, in, and if I move it, does it move? Is it to the second, second slide now? Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. because it happens a lot that the speaker kept on moving the slides, but the participants, 
uh, didn't see the next slide. So, okay, thank you so much. So this is the program that we have now, and uh, we are very grateful yeah, to have or to participate in this particular program for lots of reasons, I'm very sure. Uh, like what Prof. Roy was already mentioning that we have to be always optimistic, yes, and try to use, fully use your uh, opportunity, the time that, uh, that is given to you. So part of the things that we are uh, doing from the good things from our optimism is by doing this, uh, by uh, participating in these uh, types of programs. So here I'm going to talk about uh, the scenario, maybe a little of Malaysia, because I'm very sure that uh, you have many speakers come from many different countries, especially the we are talking about the Asian one. Uh, no, maybe because I'm I'm here uh, since end of two thousand six, but formally teaching. Uh, in Malaysia here since 2007. Well, it's a lot, yeah, it's about uh, 15 years, 15 years, yes. Uh, before that, I was in Islamabad. Maybe some of you come from the subcontinent countries, yeah, Islamabad, um, Pakistan, India, yeah, in that, in that area is very, I'm very familiar with that. And then um, it was from, um, 1989, many of you were not born, I'm very sure, okay. And then uh, it was for 10 years, yeah, my degree, my master. And then at the same time, I was very young when I studied my career teaching in National University of Modern Languages. So um, I was there for 10 years. And then I moved in 99 to Los Angeles, to uh, California. And there I was um, contributing, yeah, and also volunteering in BIAE, Bureau Islamic and Arabic Education for Islamic Centers and New Horizon Schools, uh, as well as many more uh, programs. Then I came to Malaysia in 2006, yeah, end of 2006. Uh, but formally teaching in 2007 until now. So uh, I was at school, yeah, teaching at school as well, uh, and became the principal of International Islamic, Univers uh, Islamic School uh, in Malaysia and studying from 2014 until now. Yeah, I'm here, they, I'm here in International Institute for Halal Research and Training. This institute is one of the, you can say faculty, yeah, something like faculty, but because our institute now does not offer the programs for undergrad yet. So all the academic programs is for postgraduate, for master and PhD. So this is the center of excellence, we call it institute, okay. So this is uh, the journey, yeah, it's okay, but why, wh what is the importance about the journey? <laughs> uh, maybe it's not about in heart, but it's about ourselves. I'm just going to give you an example of this. Now the International Institute, the or in heart has become very big. It was studied in 2006 as what, just as, the result of discussion. Indonesian people used to just say ngobrol, ngobrol. Uh, just, just a very simple talking. Let's say, for example, I sit, uh, we sit for coffee, okay? And then all of us have the things in common, yeah, the things in common. So these researchers, they have the hobby of doing research and they say, why don't we just make a research group? And just from a few people that they studied this and now, yeah, become a very big. And in 2021, we last year, we just celebrated our 10 years anniversary. Okay, so this is the objective, vision, mission, and all these things. And I urge that 
we have to understand the vision and mission of each and everything of the entity or organization or university or place you work or place you study. Why do we have to know that? What is the importance about knowing the objective? Because actually it is just like you are taking a right. Okay, you are taking a right. And then you have to know where your transport takes you. Uh, this is something that we need to know. So you know where you go, you know what to support, what to do so that the objective will be achieved. So the mission here is that to provide world-class education, research, training, and consultancy related to the halal industry, to the nation here. To one uh, too much, but if you are maybe interested in, in uh, putting your uh, master or your PhD here, so you can contact me and uh, we have our dean uh, we have the associate dean uh, that's me the one that's uh, introduced miss dara and then we have three units it's the units of academic research and publication as well as uh, community engagement and these are the activities that we have for the academic we have pa and then mahis mahim we have Bahim. This one is not really what we are not under us, but we are helping in developing the module as well as uh, teaching. Also, for the research, maybe you are interested in doing the research of many different research, then we can do it here. Yes. Uh, we have what we call training. There are lots of training. Now, I would like to give you a little overview of what is the terminology which we call Muslim friendly? There are lots of, when you go anywhere and you see a Muslim friendly destination, Muslim friendly spa, Muslim friendly hot, Muslim friendly fight, uh, Muslim friendly plane, uh, train, railways, what is it, what is it? So actually the, the word or the term Muslim friendly itself is just the the services we provided by this company or by this um, organization, and these uh, services are friendly to the Muslim need. So this is not indeed um, limited to the Muslims to use, but as well for every. Yeah, it's just that something gives you more convenient with um, emphasize. Uh, we call it toyin. Toyiban mean all the elements of the good things. Okay, uh, consultancy, audit, and uh, SR is very very important. This is how we show our um, what is it called? Our care to the community. That is the most important thing that we live in this world. We don't know ourselves, but we have to be someone who's beneficial for others, full for others. And one thing that we have to remember, all youth here especially, yeah, you must have this spirit of always uh, gaining and gaining and gaining, having, possessing, okay? Um, yes, I want to possess this, I want to achieve this, achieve this, obtain this, and that is very good. The objective, the main objective that why we like to have why we like to possess, why we like to obtain and achieve. So we have it because we want to share it with others, because we want to give it for the community. Okay. So uh, one of the, um, we can say wisdom in Arabic, it says, faqidu la What does it mean? Faqidu la It means that if you don't have if someone does not have he cannot give. of course i don't have how can i give? so first i want to give i have to give uh, that's the it's a good thing uh in the academic uh program so we have a uh, three type of academic programs but now we have more yeah? uh, which is mm 
mixed mode. Usually we have all of our programs were uh, full research. And these are the training modules. Yeah, if you, you are interested in, you know, like in Indonesia, for example, uh, there is Majlis Ulama Indonesia previously. Yeah, now BPJPH. BPJP. To make it into English is BPJPH, okay? The certifying body, yeah, and it's everywhere. I'm pretty sure the countries that were just mentioned by Ms. Dara before, uh, they have as well the uh, certifying body, even Japan, Taiwan, yeah, Thailand, Turkey, and other countries that I cannot uh, mention one by one. So these are the the focus okay for your information halal mean permissible and toyib means anything good wholesome you think of something that is uh positive yeah something that is a uh, good quality edit uh quality that is a yip concept so we have all this this is selected halal science projects uh we have uh, in Hat Halal Services as well, the laboratory. So this was it to you uh, because tomorrow um, and then after tomorrow, I'm not very sure how many speakers today, Ms. Dara. Uh, just yeah, for today it's from assuming. Malaysia also. Okay, just from Malaysia. So this is kind of uh, the representative International Islamic University Malaysia, and one of the faculty is is. Otherwise, we have fourteen faculties in university, and we have seven campuses. Yeah. Uh, so it's good you try to see here and there and try to move. Yeah. Sometimes we feel um, I'm already feeling very good here in my own place. Um, we used to say um what is it comfort zone but maybe it's good that we try to move out of the comfort zone and try to see uh, other people's yeah so this to the people's life yeah experience more to the experience that you gain get to know many people from different countries is a good one and this i'm just showing you some of the picture this, uh, this is some of the uh, consultancies, yeah, we have uh, always a very, I, I don't know, I'm interested in knowing about success story of anything, how did they start, how it was, how is it now, what is the uh, planning, so each of us, each of you must have some kind of dissolution, correct, so you must have some kind of planning, uh, what uh, past, what is it now, what am I going to do? To me, always again and again, in every time I speak, I always remind myself and others, yeah, my children, you are here, girls, boys, that to make use of your now, the present time is the one that is so much needed because yesterday has passed, let it go, right? We can do anything about what has passed. And uh, we are not sure as well about what will be tomorrow, even tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, even there is one of the uh, Sha'in, if I may say, this one is in Arabic by Imam Al Shafi'i, uh, what he says is that. Wala wa anta tadri ida janna alaik lail hal usbihu al agadi. Yani, we don't know if today you are still enjoying now time, and then if it is in the night, you still see whether tomorrow uh, you are going to witness it. So, what does it mean? It's just try to uh, do your best, yeah. So this is uh, part of the example of what we have achieved uh, because I'm the one who speaks. So I put my picture, right? Okay. <laughs> so this is the, I just want to give you um, what, what, what it means. Uh, maybe some kind of motivation. It doesn't matter how young are you. I don't say how old are you. We never get old again. How young are you? But try to do lots of things that maybe beneficial for yourself as well for others. So uh, this one is one of my uh, 
award. And Alhamdulillah, on the 12th, just a few more days, on Friday, uh, we'll be getting another award from U.S. It's a GPA. There is nothing, uh, but why I'm telling you is that given so much opportunity and time that you can always use. So I'm not only doing here in Malaysia uh, something to do with the academic dosen, yeah, mengajar, and that's it. No, but uh, we are thinking more to how can I be useful person, yeah, and may share as much as I can. So that's why we're doing a business here, where we are doing lots, lots of things. Yes, if you like to do it, uh, you can do it, yeah. So these are part of things that we have done last year, and then as well as the books you like to uh, publish with us in any university you are, you can uh, communicate with me. We have our own journal. Yeah, not only one part has one, but some of the members, the staff members of Inhar, they are as well the um, uh, chief editor or the owner of um, scientific um, what is it called? Uh, journals, yeah. And these are the of 